you know, this is just spur of the moment. No hair comb, no makeup, no planning, no thought other than exactly what's in my head right now. And I've been scrolling and watching some videos and um, just some shorts and things like that. And it dawned on me, what are we thinking? No wonder there's so many people with disease, um, disabilities, emotional issues, all kinds of things that a lot of people are talking about. A lot of people are talking about a lot of these things, and rightly so. Yes, if you're going through something, and who isn't, um, a diagnosis of some kind, a trauma of some kind, an emotional issue of some kind, um, a physical issue of some kind, we don't really realize that this world has been devolving for years. And as human beings, we have been devolving as well. Now, we're probably doing a really good job of trying not to realize that or trying to head that off at the past, so to speak. But the thought just occurred to me and I thought, you know what, I don't care, I'm just gonna express this. Whoever agrees with me or doesn't, that's fine. But what do we think? Why do we think all of this? Why is it surprising? Why are we surprised? So many things have been turned upside down in this world. We don't have normal anything anymore. We have no normal food. We have no normal air, water, medical, um, our homes that we live in. We're not outside. We're not getting the sun. The sun's changed. The sky's changed. The weather's changed. Everything has changed over the years. It's been a progressive downhill slide for human beings. Now, I'm not being pessimistic. I'm just saying, why are we surprised at this? Why are we surprised at all these different issues and all these different anomalies and things going on in our lives that probably were not there even 20, 30, 50, 100 years ago? They were not part of life. So just pondering that today, just thinking about, wow, look where we've come. And we are not on a uprise in um what can I say, our intelligence even, and um, so many things. We just need to realize this is the place we're at in, in the time frame of the world and creation, and we are not going to be here forever, thank goodness, but why the heck are we surprised about these things? Why are we making these big, um, we act shocked. We act like we're shocked, and I've been there. I've done that. We act like we're shocked be by the things that are going on in the world today and our own um, issues that we've had to deal with and trying to understand other people and why are they thinking this way and why are they doing these things? It's because we live in a fallen world and um, it's not going to get better. So we need to just continue to pray, stand on the word of God, know that this is not where we're going to end up and this is not how it's going to always be. Thank goodness. And that gives me... Um, pleasure to think about that. That gives me hope. If we lose hope, we've lost everything. And I, I don't think we are going to um, maintain this way much longer, this place, this atmosphere. We're not going to be able to maintain it much longer. For a while, yes. Um, but it's going to, you know, it's going to get to a place where um, the Lord's going to have his, he's going to be fed up with the way we've used this world, used one another, uh, been taken advantage of by the enemy. Of course, it's not all of our fault. It's not, it, you can't put blame here. You can't put blame there. It's just what's happening. And um, this is not where we're going to be forever. Thank goodness.